Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to add rounded corners using HTML and CSS. So to get started we're going to open up Dreamweaver. And so we're going to be creating a new HTML document. And the first thing that we're going to do is just create a div tag. So I'm going to go down into the body. So I'm just going to add some space in there. And I'm just going to create a div tag. So open bracket, div, close bracket, open, and then just hit the slash and it should finish it off for you. So I'm going to put some space in there and then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to push it inward so that we're keeping our nesting separated. Alright, so now inside of here I'm just going to add in some mock content. So I'm just going to say this is some content. And then what we want is like a break tag so that it goes to the next line. So open bracket, break, or just br and then space slash closing bracket. All right, so now I'm just going to copy this line and just paste it down. So again, the reason that I'm doing this is just to add in some fake content. All right, so I'm going to save it now. And I'm just going to save it on the desktop as test page. And save it to the desktop. And now we can test it in Firefox so you can see what we have so far. And so here's what we have. So um, now I'm going to be able to show you how to actually put, say, a border around it and actually round it off. So I'm just going to minimize this. And then what I'm going to do is just take and we're going to add in an ID so that when we create our CSS page, um, the CSS can communicate with the HTML in order to style this with rounded corners. So in order to do that, just go into the head div tag, this first one here hit space and then ID equals and then two quotes and then go inside of the quotes and we're going to just make up something and so we can just call it um, my div okay and so now what we can do is just save it and then we're going to create a new um, CSS page so we're going to go to file new and then we're going to go to CSS create and so I'm just going to save this as something so we can just call this main CSS, okay, and save it to desktop as well. So now what we need to do is actually link our HTML and our CSS together, and the way that we're going to do that um, is by just using one line of code. Now the easiest way to get this line of code, um, because I don't have it memorized and you probably don't have it memorized, so the easiest way to do it is just take it off of a website, so I'm just going to go to mine and basically every website has this because almost every website uses CSS so in other browsers besides Firefox um, you would find it in view and you're looking for view source or page source but in Firefox you go to web developer and then page source alright so what we're looking for is the line of code up in the head tag which is up here and you can just find it, it says link href CSS and it's a style sheet so that's the Thing that you're looking for so we're just going to copy that I'm going to close it close this too and go back into Dreamweaver uh, I'm just showing you that um, I mean I could have just typed it out but I just want to show you that if you're looking for something like that you can just find it off of websites you don't have to go around hunting um, for it you can just copy and paste it off and off, off of another website all right so again this looks like link href and then a link and then we have relationship style sheet and then type uh, text slash CSS. So if you guys don't want to go through that, just bump it up to HD and full screen it. You should be able to read that perfectly fine. So now what we need to do is actually uh, make this link to our CSS page. So right here inside of these quotes, I'm just going to delete everything that's out of there. And I'm just going to say main CSS because that's what we named our CSS page. So I'm going to save it. And so then we can go into our CSS page and actually start working on um, this rule this my div so I'm just going to copy that go into my CSS and in order to denote a um, or an ID you need to have a pound sign so just shift 3 and then the name open curly bracket close curly bracket and now whatever we type in here is going to be our CSS so one little helpful hint is um, if you want to say we're going to add a border onto this, um, if you back it all the way up to this beginning one and then hit enter, it'll bring up a list of all the different things that you can do. And so if you just start typing border, then you can just hit enter once you find it. And then you can say um, hit color and we want it to be black and then hit a space and it'll bring up all the different options that you can do within that. So we're looking for like solid and then you do space and then just type in how many pixels you want it to be. All right, so I'm going to save that. And now we can go back to Firefox and refresh this. And it should have put a border on it. Um, let's see what we did. Oh, I have main CSS and you need to say dot CSS. 
Otherwise, it doesn't really know what kind of file it is. So that's what we need to do. And now you can see that we have our border on it. So just check for little things like that. If you forgot a file extension or um, maybe a bracket or something like that, it'll throw it off. So um, now we have our border on it. So I'm just going to go back to Dreamweaver. And now we can just start um, actually adding in our corners. So the way that we're going to do that, um, let's first take and give our, our box a width. So we're just going to say width, width, and we'll say... I don't know, 500 pixels should be about right. Hit enter, um, maybe we'll give it, um, we'll center it on the page. So the way that you do that is to, by going down to margin right, setting it to auto, hit enter, and then margin left, and then we'll set that to auto as well. And so if we save it and test it, then we should have uh, our box centered and it's smaller now, it has a defined width. All right, so now we can actually take and round these corners out um, like the whole point of this tutorial is. So I'm just gonna enter and what we're looking for is border radius. So if you type border, you can kind of go all the way down here. You can either type out border radius or you can find it on the list. I just wanna show you that it is on the list. And so then basically you hit 25 and 25 pixels semicolon, save. On each line, you need to make sure you have a semicolon at the end. Sometimes when you're doing that autofill, um, it won't add the semicolon. So just make sure that you do that if you're using that drop down like I was. So now we should have it rounded out. Um, sometimes in Firefox it doesn't round, um, and I'm not sure why. I think it's just the version of Firefox that you're using. You may need to update Firefox. Um, but if for some reason it's not working, I would put this in here anyway, just in case your users are using some kind of um, older version. Just type in, um, just copy and paste that, and then what you want at the beginning is a dash, M-O-Z, dash. So basically it's saying for Mozilla, the border radius is also 25. So it just singles out Firefox. And I think there's another one which is like WebKit and it's for a different browser. Um, but these two seem to work for everything that I've tested it on. So um, if you find that you, it's not working, you might go and look for that. So I'm just gonna save that. And so we can take a look and it shouldn't change because it was already working. Um, so we can go into Dreamweaver and just touch this up. You might wanna add some padding in there because it's a little cramped on the corner. So we'll just, again, hit enter, padding, and we'll add in like, I don't know, 15 pixels of padding. Okay. All right, so now it's got some padding right there. And so basically this is the tutorial. Um, you can pretty much use this rounded technique on whatever you want. Um, I've used it on images before, on divs like this. You can use it on like web forms so you can get some rounded form elements. It's pretty cool um, and it's a pretty cool technique and it kind of gives you a pretty slick look depending on what the design of your site is. Um, so I hope you guys learned something and I'm sorry for those of you who already know CSS and HTML but I, if I had just given you um, these two lines of code and you didn't know that then it would be a problem. So uh, bear with me. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I have a new video tutorial for you next week. And thanks for watching.